Hey, my loves. Okay, so after last night's Reiki, I feel like we had to have a face-to-face. -face. Now, I don't want anybody to feel like they are getting in trouble, but I did a lot of work last night. And first, I'm going to say, when I was first in it, calling in the energy, calling in the angels, getting us connected, tapping into the creator, bringing in the energy of all that that is. I was told or I felt that I really had to pull in the healing. Um, I kept feeling like I had to expand it and make it wider and wider and wider, calling in the healing energy. So as I'm calling in the healing energy, I want to share the meditation that I was doing with you guys because I also feel like it will help you to feel grounded at any time. So at the end of this, I'm going to take you through that so that you can do that whenever you feel like you need to get grounded. Now, I will say by the time I was done, child, I was like, I'm officially a hippie. Give me my bongos. Hey, like I, I felt so much oneness, right? I was like, it's official. I'm the hippie lady. I drank the Kool-Aid. Give me my bongos. I'm gone. But I realized what was being worked on me was releasing any judgment because as just a regular as a regular black girl from new jersey when you get into the spiritual stuff i always had this thing of man come on guys why we gotta make it look so crazy why y'all gotta be looking so crazy why can't y'all just look normal we can do healing and we can be normal okay we can do healing and we can be normal so that's always in the back of my mind also because i come from a corporate background we can do healing and we can make it look normal, normalcy, just normalcy. But when I was in the zone last night, it was like, I'm a hippie. I'm a <laughs> it was so funny. But the reason why I also felt like I had to get the energy going is because spirit was like, there needs to be more movement. So you got to get more movement in your body, movement in your cells more grounding more feet on the ground feet on the ground they also were giving me that thing of like i was listening to um uh healing music and this one particular song came on and it had a lot of drum in it at the time that i was grounding and i was like okay the drum the grounding in the grounding in the grounding in the grounding in the ground to get grounded because a lot of times even when you're meditating sometimes we can leave ourselves outside of our body and be a little spacey so I'm going to give you some exercises. That's what this whole little video was about because I wanted to show y'all instead of just say. We had to bring in a lot of compassion last night. We had to bring in a lot of heart healing because there was a lot of feeling of depression, unexpression, disconnectedness, um, a lot of grief, a lot of clarity, um, needing to remove money blocks needing to remove trust issues um opening up intuition all that stuff so one of the natural things that reiki does is of course open up your chakras and help clear your chakras but also receiving that happiness receiving that peace receiving that energy so we did all of that so i will say i want to show you this chart too now i realize it's probably going to look backwards to you but do you see where it says sad here a lot of time we hold sadness anger fear uh hurts guilt guilt ego pride in the legs let's check the the inflexibility in the back um lack of support old stuff old stuff goes in the back um Let's see. Burdens, heavy duty responsibilities on the shoulders and stuff like that. 
feminine side, masculine side. So when we're doing energy work, we're balancing those systems out. So that's why sometimes it doesn't feel good when you're getting healing done. Sometimes you might even sleep worse because we're disrupting where things have settled into your cells. But the key is, is the whole thing with energy work is if you can keep your energy and your aura clear, then things won't hit your physical body as hard. A lot of times physical hurts and problems happen when we're already down or we're at our weakest and then all of a sudden the pain comes out of nowhere. It's because, you know, our guard is down. We might have a weakened aura and that's how that can get into the physical. The longer it sits in the physical, the now it's like getting into chronic, chronic issues. A lot of times energy work can help with chronic stuff because we're sending energy to the area area so we're, we're disturbing it we're like nah you can't stay here you gotta go you gotta go but it takes work so i want to say please keep getting energy healing whether it's for me or not you know it don't matter if it's for me or somebody else but keep getting energy work done because it helps even though it's invisible and it's not seen is no different than how invisible a prayer is you still want prayers even though it's invisible same it's connecting to source reiki reiki people may not give you a message how i give a message but they still pull in the energy send in the energy pull in the energy send in the energy you don't have to have a message to have reiki this is something that i've done and i've created out of my own experience so after all that said um uh, let's see I just want to take you through a quick grounding, okay? So, nice deep breath in and out. In through the nose, out through the mouth. I'm going to have you close your eyes for a moment. Continue your deep breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth. And a lot of times it's good to make the breath audible like really push it through your body as a matter of fact i think i'm gonna start let me start that song i'll start that song i was listening to let's see if it goes it'll just play in the uh-oh a little loud give me one second I'll turn it down Okay, so what are we gonna do? We're gonna use this theta. Theta is another form of healing. We're gonna use this theta script to connect with the creator. And then we're gonna pull all that energy down and we're gonna ground you into the earth. That's what's gonna make you feel more solid. That's what's gonna make you feel more connected. Okay, deep breath in and out, okay. Imagine energy coming up through the bottom of your feet from the center of the earth and going up out of the top of your head as a beautiful ball of light. You are in this ball of light. Take time to notice what color it is. Is it white? Is it one of the colors of the rainbow? Is it another color? Out of the top of your head, going out through your crown. Beautiful ball of light. Now, you being in this light, we are gonna keep moving up, 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 higher, higher, higher out into the universe higher 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 through higher dimensions past the stars imagine going into the light above the universe really let your imagination take you the light above the universe beautiful light beautiful light above the universe bright 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 
Keep going higher, guys. Imagine going up through that light and you'll see another bright light, brighter light, brighter light, brighter light, brighter light, another light. In fact, you'll see so many bright lights. Keep going between the lights. You may see a little bit of dark light, but this is just a layer before the next light, so keep going. We're going higher and higher and higher into consciousness. Finally, there's a great big bright light. You go through it, and when you go through it, you're gonna see an energy. You're gonna see an energy that sort of looks like a jelly-like substance that has all the colors of the rainbow in it. When you go into it, you see that it changes colors. You have just gone through the laws, universal laws. You'll see all kinds of shapes. You'll see all kinds of colors. As you go through this in the distance, you will see a white iridescent light. It is a white blue color, like a pearl, like a shimmery pearl. Head for that light, white, blue, iridescent, shimmery, like a pearl, light. Avoid any dark blue lights, that's law of magnetism. As you get closer to the white blue light, you see a mist of pink, sweet and beautiful pink. Keep going until you see the pink, pink, pink. Pink, beautiful, shimmery, sparkly. The pink is the law of compassion. And as you go through that law of compassion, it'll push you through into the next special place. As you push through the pink with the law of compassion, you'll see a pearlescent light. It's the shape of a rectangle, like a window. This window is the opening to the seventh plane. The seventh plane is where healing takes place, growth takes place. Now go through it. Go into this seventh plane. In it, you'll see a deep whitish glow. Go through your body. Let yourself feel it. Deep whitish glow. Feel it. It feels light, but it has essence. You can feel it going through you. As if you can no longer feel the separation between your own body and the energy. You become all that is. Don't worry, your body will not disappear. You are safe, you are safe, you are safe. No worries. You can feel the essence. You no longer feel the separation. You become all that is. You feel perfect, you feel healthy, you feel excited. Remember, there is just energy here. It's not people or things. So if you see people, go higher, 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 higher. If you see people, go higher, higher, higher. From this place, From this place, this is where the creator of all there is can perform instant healings and you can create in all aspects of your life. Energy of creation, energy of peace. Move your body, move your energy. Gather all the healing that you need. 
allow every cell to absorb divine creativity absorb solutions for your everyday life solutions answers the answers that you need absorb it in this essence the healing that you need absorb it in this essence breathe And as you gather everything that you need, we're gonna pull that oneness energy in and we are gonna start to come back down into your physical body. Down, down, gently, down, gently, down, down, down. Coming back through the planes, coming back through compassion, coming back through the lights, coming back through the energy. Pull, 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 bring it with you, pull. We're gonna come back down through the universe down through the stars, down through the atmosphere, back into your crown, into your crown, into your third eye, into your throat, into your heart, belly, all belly, all core, hips, 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 pull, pull, pull. You've established a connection to source. You know where you've been. You've established the connection. Pull, pull, pull that energy, pull that healing, pull that compassion, pull that light, pull it down, pull it down, pull it down. Past your knees, past your knees, past your ankles, out your feet, out your feet. Now we're gonna let it go right into the earth's core, past the crust, past the soil, Push it down into magnet, the magnetic, the magnetic, the magnetic part, the center, the core. Push it down, push it down. This is where we are gonna allow the rhythm to push it down. Breathe it in, push it down, push it down, push it down, push it down. As that energy goes into the core, see it hook into the core, hook into the core, hook into the core. Come back up, come back up, come back up, come back up. Let the energy come back up through your feet, through your legs. Past your knees, in your hips, up your spine, up your spine, in your spine, in your spine. Feel this energy expanding wider and wider and wider. Up the back of your neck, shoulders, shoulders, shoulders. Shine this light on the back of your heart. Shine this light into the past. Breathe deep and release. Breathe deep and release. Breathe deep and release. Back up through your head, back up through your crown. 
back up to the universe, connecting with creation. Feel this energy in your body. Feel this energy. You are clear. You are connected. When you are ready. When you are ready, you open your eyes. You are connected. You are connected to source. You are here for a reason. You are here for a purpose. This is not by accident and this is not in vain. So because that came up last night in the Ricky, I wanted to share it with you guys. Like I hadn't done that in Ricky before. So I wanted to share it with you guys. Anytime you want to do this meditation so that you can feel connected, please do it. Please leave me any comments, feedback, anything you want to share. I will timestamp this video so that you'll be able to go right to the part where I start the meditation. Okay, guys. Thank you for participating and we are going to keep going. And we're going to keep living and we're going to keep shining. So namaste, the God in me calls forth on the God in you. So be it, it is done. Bye guys. Hugs and kisses. <laughs>